I'm extremely late on Space Marine 2. I missed out on so many views, dog. But hey, what are you gonna do? Sad that I can't even play most modern games or Space Marine 2 because I have a potato PC. That's why I talk about video games instead of playing them. Well, if they're on low specs, I can play them. But today we're going to talk about where Space Marine 2 won, where others failed. So what's the secret? What magical spell did they conjure up in that studio? Maybe they made a deal with the devil or did they focus on making a good game without putting politics in the game and some other dumb stuff. But they didn't. They actually focus on making a good game for the player. Yeah, it was probably a magic spell that made the game great. I'll tell you. It all started with two garbage games. Garbage shouldn't be insulted. I'm sorry, garbage. You deserve better. But we gotta go back, aka one month ago. When on August 20th, this beautiful peach of a game was released on Steam and everybody loved it and everybody cheered and clapped. Spoilers, it didn't go so well. Dustborn, you know what is Dustborn? Let me just play a clip from the game to show you. No one needs to get hurt. You're right. So get the- Stand still. I'm gonna make an apology video after this one. So yeah, that's basically the whole game. Basically every left-wing political belief they put in this game, aka woke shit, which never works in video games, since never. Which why this game failed in the first place. Nobody wants to play a political driven game. Every character in this game wants me to scratch my eyes and ears out. A bunch of mentally challenged game developers decided this was a good game. Somehow they made it. They had an actual budget for this game, which is just insane. They actually thought this was a great idea just like subscribing to my youtube channel because you know you're already here and you're gonna come back anyways so why not just subscribe thanks everybody in the gaming community and everybody on youtube hated this fucking game everybody except gaming journalists for some reason but it didn't happen a master class of a game that was so good it was spent eight years in development 200 million dollars to make and it came out like this that all that is holy onto this world the laziest the most unoriginal game developers spent eight years with 200 million dollars for a budget and the game comes out like this somebody on fiverr or upwork can make a better character design for 50 bucks than these professionals and a while later both of these games were dropped because thank god because everybody hated them and nobody wants to play them after these two disasters have came out and immediately have been dropped, there was a game that made it all go away. Space Marine 2 dropped and when it dropped, it fucking hit hard. Like a 12 ton truck hitting a deer at 200 miles an hour at 4 in the morning while you were drinking a beer and, and you were probably sleep deprived, but it's okay, nobody knew. Space Marine 2 was the game that we all needed. From all the other bullshit games that came out, Space Marine 2 was a breath of fresh air. The first Space Marine game came out in 2011 and ever since then, fans wanted more. So Games Workshop delivered on the promise. The game really felt like a relief package, a sign from the Emperor himself. It doesn't truly matter if you're into Warhammer or not. You bet your ass that it was fun playing a small demigod fighting against Tyranids and demons and other forces of chaos. You felt invincible while you were playing as an Astartes. And also, you can even change your chapter's name in the game to a Templar, to a Salamander or make a custom Space Marine suit. And the combat reminds me of Gears of War, I'm not gonna lie. What made this game so great is that was no politics in the game. It was forged from the source material and that's what made the game successful. See you next time guys, take care.